all right guys welcome to new video i have an amazing news for you this is something most of you will absolutely like believe it or not i have a solution for something which many of us thought that it doesn't work however i found a solution i tested it and it does work perfectly fine and i'm talking about nav lights on aig traffic models yes you heard nav lights on aig traffic models does work it's a very simple fix and make sure to watch till the end of this video and i'm gonna show you how to fix it but before we do that let's take a look how does it work in the sim so i already loaded uh, dublin airport here the aig traffic is now being injected and controlled by beyond atc and in a second you will see that the nav lights will turn on there you go so we have the nav lights on the tip of the wings as you can see the red on some models is more visible than others there is a green one over here and also strobe lights are working as they supposed to so there you go guys it's amazing now in the night time you can see all your ai traffic on aig models in the skies and i am absolutely thrilled for this because it's working like it's supposed to as you can see here in the distance we have an incoming traffic on the short final it's a bit foggy here but you can clearly see that we can uh, spot the incoming traffic because the uh, strobe lights are working as they're supposed to with nav lights as well so it looks absolutely amazing and uh, suddenly the aig is getting another another detail which was missing and as you can see it did turn on again i was testing it for at least 20 minutes now and all of the models which are lining up for the takeoff they do work and as you can see the effects look absolutely amazing i believe it's really nice rendition of the strobe lights including the landing lights everything is working as it's supposed to so I'm really happy with that because I personally was thinking that AIG nav lights issue is not fixable. Uh, however, I did a little bit of research and I was able to find a fix. So let's take a look on a couple more aircrafts as they will take off. Uh, as you can see again here in the distance, we have uh, two aircrafts approaching for uh, landing on runway 10 left. And notice that the nav lights with strobe lights are working perfectly fine on AIG traffic. Now, guys, this is pure AIG traffic, okay? It's not the mix with FSLTL, it's AIG controlled by Beyond ATC. Here we can see also the nav lights turn on on the small Learjet. So, as you can see, each model has slightly different effect on the tip of the wings, for specifically for the red and green light here. Uh, but the strobe lights are working amazing on all of the models. So, I am I am absolutely absolutely thrilled to deliver this news and now all of you guys who managed to install the aig traffic and who and all of you who are using aig in msfs 224 you will be able to enjoy finally the nav lights working on all the models again this is an excellent news i really really thought that it's not going to be possible unless some kind of fix is released however there was a fix already and after some research i was able to find it install it test it and here you go guys here you have it it is working so how about we jump in the windows and i'll show you how to install it believe me make sure to follow the video it's really super easy 
literally it's just one file to be downloaded and once you download it uh, you will run it basically let it do its own things and then it's done nothing else is needed Alrighty guys, so here is the website. Uh, you're probably familiar with this website, most of you, I'm sure, Afsim. Um, I'm gonna leave the link in the description, so don't worry, you will get the link underneath the video. Uh, basically, there is a one file you have to download. Um, do not worry, the file is perfectly safe. Um, so over here on this website, which I'm gonna link in the description, uh, there is a post from October 9th, 2024, and here is the file on Google Drive, right? So all you have to do, you would click on it, and then this would open separate tab. You have the file over here, and you have to download it. So once you download it, you have to unzip it. And then inside this uh, folder will be one... Uh, application basically that's all it is once you double click on it it'll open well you might get the uh, uh, protection warning all you have to do run anyway again guys this is perfectly safe if you want to check it for virus that's all up to you feel free but it's perfectly safe and it kind of tells you here in the example as you look at it it tells you example right it's gonna say like a d uh, slash MFSA data community uh, and then um, AIG traffic OCI beta slash sim object slash airplanes. Well, now this is very important step, okay? For those of you who had watched my video how to install AIG traffic, you know that I use that OCI linker at the end once I had my OCI package installed in the folder of my choice, right? So you have to make sure that you're selecting that sim object slash airplanes from that folder, not from the one which is linked in the community folder, if that makes sense. In my case, I have installed that OCI package in uh, drive E under AIG Robert, AIG traffic OCI, and then it says in that example, sim objects, which is this one and airplanes once you select it like that you click ok and now you can see that the uh, path is selected again remember this A aig tra air traffic dash oci this one here right this was where i created that oci package as i was installing so again if you didn't follow my video Make sure you watch the video how I installed uh, AIG traffic into MSFS to 24. So again, I'm making sure I'm selecting that folder where that original OCI package is installed. And then I'm looking for sim objects and airplanes, just like it tells me over here, right? You cannot go wrong if you follow this video correctly. And then all you have to do, you would click fix lights. It takes about 10 seconds or so. It basically fix the effects within those uh, sim objects, airplane models. So that's all it does. It fixes some kind of effects which were preventing the nav lights showing up in the sim or basically working properly. Uh, even if you need later on for some specific reason, you have a button to restore original system CFG files. Uh, I didn't need it at all because it's working perfectly fine. I'm not going to press fix lights because I already have done it. It's already fixed on my end. I just wanted to show you how to install it, how to fix it. So again, guys, I will leave a link in the description. Uh, make sure you will correctly select the proper folder. Again, it will make sense if you look at this example, right? You will basically look for that folder of yours wherever you install it then you have to navigate to sim objects slash airplanes and then select it and then click fix lights that's all you have to do later on you can start your sim load up your let's say batc controlling aig traffic whether if you even if you want to control it by fsltl injector it should work i haven't tested it but i'm pretty sure it does work because now the models are fixed the effects in the models are fixed so it should work perfectly fine 
I hope that you liked this video. Uh, this will be all from me for today. Uh, this was just a short video with an exciting news about working nav lights on AIG traffic. For those of you who are not following my channel yet or who are new at my channel and you didn't subscribe, consider subscribing. I will greatly appreciate that. And for those of you who are already following me, I wanted to say thank you for all the support and I'll see you very soon in one of my next videos. Take care guys and enjoy the brand new AIG Navlights fix. Take care, see you next time.